up you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl destiny and today i will be giving my final thoughts on this hair that i got from west kiss now i did buy this hair with my own money so don't worry i'm gonna give you guys all the tea the drop i'm gonna give you everything okay so if you want to hear what i have to say about this hair then keep on watching bust down barbiana bust down barbiana bust down and pick that shit up Okay, so first things first, I ordered the hair off of westkiss.com, which is their official website. Now, they are like an AliExpress-based vendor, so I believe you can still order off of AliExpress, but I personally haven't ordered hair off of AliExpress in over two years, so I don't even know what's going on over there, okay? But so I ordered a 5x5 HD lace closure wig. I ordered the texture curly, and I got the length 24 inches and 200% density. So, so I placed my order on, um, let me check for you guys. I placed my order on August 31st. They shipped out my package on September 1st, but I didn't get my package until the 7th, which that's not really that bad. I wasn't in a rush, so shipping took about a week and it also came through FedEx. Communication was well with the seller. Like I said, as soon as I placed my order, they sent me a confirmation. They sent me a confirmation when my order was shipped and then they also followed up once I got my package, let me know that my package was delivered and they asked how to like it, da 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 da. You know how they you know how that go but pretty much communication was 10 out of 10 shipping was you know it took about a week and like i said you know i had no issues with that so i paid a total of 346 dollars and 51 cents now for me personally if you wear wigs and you are you know you heavy into the wig game or whatever you know um wigs the price of hair is starting to go up um because never in my my 24 years of living would i thought that i'm paying pretty much 350 dollars for a closure wig now granted it is curly hair you know it is 200 percent density but for me personally i do feel like that's a little bit excessive for a closure wig um I don't believe I use a coupon code I'm not sure if I did but most of the time you know they have coupon codes um where you can get a percentage off but I actually didn't use mine I, yeah I did use a coupon code because I didn't realize that I could have used one until after I placed my order because one of my friends I was telling her like make sure you use the coupon when you order because I forgot to use mine so I didn't use a coupon but um $346 for closure wig that's a bit excessive but that's how much I paid for the wig so now on to the cons and the pros so I'm going to give you guys the pros first because my list for the pros it's a little bit longer um so I'm gonna tell you guys the good things first so first things first I definitely will say they knocked it out the park with the fullness now if you wear wigs you know factory made wigs are already on the thinner side in comparison to you know ordering like bundles in a closure or bundles in a frontal and making your wig that's always been a problem of mine um with factory wigs that's why personally I don't tend to order factory wigs unless I already know the company or you know what I'm saying I you know I know their hair but this hair 200% density they knocked it out the park I could not ask for more hair on this wig like sometimes this hair is just like swallowing my face y'all um I will insert clips showing you how the hair looks like once it's all combed out and once it's big and this is pretty much majority of the hair combed out y'all like look how big this hair is like look how freaking big this hair is y'all look this hair is so pretty y'all so the only reason why i really ordered this wig is because if you don't know i'm a hairstylist and one of my clients actually ordered a wig but she had a frontal and i asked i'm like yo send me the link to this wig because and i'm gonna insert that as well when I say that hair is so beautiful when it's combed out, you can almost wear it in like that afro state because it's so full, so beautiful. 10 out of 10 would recommend, okay? So they knocked it out the park with the fullness, the density, and everything like that. And it's so crazy because I almost ordered 250% density, but I'm kind of glad that I didn't because I can't imagine, you know, how big this hair would get. But 10 out of 10 would recommend. Another thing um, I would definitely say that is a pro on this hair is the actual curl pattern now that's something I struggle with with curly hair I love curly hair and I've always struggled with finding the right type of curl you know they have kinky curl you know deep wave loose wave sometimes especially with deep wave deep wave I kind of have a love hate with deep wave because a lot of times with companies it will be deep wave out of the packaging but once you wet your hair it kind of turns to like these little limp noodles and this is the perfect curl pattern um it's not too tight but it's also not too loose and that was something that i struggled with finding um with curly hair so this curl pattern is 
I love it. It's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Like I said, it's not that kinky, you know, that kinky curl, like them spiral curls, but it's also not too loose, like on the deep wave. Um, and because like I said, sometimes these companies, those deep wave wigs, it really be giving body wave, honestly, after you wash it, it gives body wave. But this hair, the curl pattern is beautiful. Every time I wet the hair, it, it pops right back up. Now, granted, I'm not putting heat on the hair, so I don't expect the curl pattern to change. But overall, you know how it can be. Sometimes you wash a wig and the curl pattern completely goes away. But this hair, the curl pattern has been there since day one. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay, you guys, so we got to take a brief intervention, however you want to say it. I forgot to mention this while I was recording the video. I do not experience any bad tangling or matting with this hair. As you know, curly hair can be a pain when it comes to that, especially in the, like, the nape of your neck area. However, I do not experience that with this hair, and I thought I would, especially because this hair is so full and big. However, that is not an issue with me. Um, So they definitely get a 10 out of 10. Definitely would recommend when it comes to that. So let's hop right back into the video. Now, another thing that I would definitely say is a pro. Now, for me, I have a big head, y'all, and I always struggle with finding wigs that fit properly. So, I ordered a size large, um, large cap size, and the wig fits perfectly. Now, I had ordered another wig from Wiggins Hair, a large cap, and the wig did not fit me at all. Um, the back of my, my braids be sticking out because the wig does not fit properly, and that's something I struggle with, like I said. So, if you do got a big head or you think you got a big head or whatever the case may be, this wig, it will fit properly on your head. You don't have to worry about, you know, the wig poking up a little bit or anything like that. So, like I said, 10 out of 10 will recommend. So, another problem with this hair is the small knots. Now, if you wear wigs or if you're getting into wigs, the lace on your wig as well as the knots will make or break your wig. It doesn't matter how the hair looks. It doesn't matter any of that. At the end of the day, when you're wearing a wig, your lace should not be lacing, okay? Your wig should not be wigging. And one of the things that, you know, plays a part in that is the 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 size of your knots as well as the lace and the knots on this wig i'm gonna get close so you guys can see i don't know if you guys can see but the knots are super duper small and actually i didn't even have to pluck the part sometimes when you have larger knots on your wig you will have to pluck apart but i don't like to do that because i don't want a permanent um line in my wig because if i want to change my wig to maybe a side part i don't want to have a permanent straight um part in my wig so typically i don't pluck my wigs well the part on my wig unless the knots are super duper huge but i did not have to do this for this wig um if i want to comb it you know comb the part out it will be gone and if i want to part it back it's perfectly fine so you definitely won't have to worry about large knots on wigs and like i said because of the pandemic quality of hair has been going down and some of these wigs that these chinese companies have been sending out the knots are like the size of a golf ball so I'm not playing that. I'm not, uh-uh. Run me my money if you even try to play with me like that. And they also bleach perfectly evenly. You know, didn't have to worry about that as well. So, that is pretty much all of my pros for this wig. Now, let's get into the cons. So, like I said, I ordered a 5x5 HD lace closure wig. However, they did not send me HD lace. They sent me transparent lace. I don't know if it was, uh, you know, they just, they're sending out transparent lace to the the people who actually pay for their wigs and they're sending the real HD to the people who are just promoting their wig but as a paying customer I did not get HD lace I got transparent lace now if you are someone who does hair that's something that you would pick up on but if you're just a regular person you don't really you know know the difference between Swiss lace HD transparent they might have been able to get away with it but because I know the difference I was able to tell as soon as I took it out the packaging I will upload um, a clip of that Okay, you guys, so here is the initial unboxing of the wig. This is what it looks like. I'm going to show you guys an up-close look at the lace, um, just so you guys can see. And as you see, that lace is white as snow. If you know, HD lace is pretty much clear. Um, once you put it up against your skin, you won't be able to see it. There's no flashback or anything. And the ends of HD lace are also very stringy. I will include a clip of some HD lace as well. HD lace is super duper fine and real it's very thin it's very fragile um and personally I like to wear my wigs glueless so that's why I opted for HD lace because you don't need to do much to manipulate it it'll blend perfectly you won't have to worry about flashback you won't have to worry about adding makeup or anything like that so that's why I opted for HD lace and also I did pay more I believe I paid about 20 something dollars more for HD lace however they sent me transparent like I said 
it seems to me like they're sending the regular transparent lace to the paying customers but they're promoting the hd lace to the bigger youtubers so they're promoting yeah we sell hd lace we sell hd lace but as a paying customer when i placed the order for hd lace i did not get that and that was probably one of the biggest things that annoyed me because it's like don't send me regular lace but you're like i said you're promoting hd lace and that's not fair you know you're sending all the good lace to the gurus and the people who are actually putting money into your pockets spending you know spending money with you promoting your brand you're sending them transparent lace and just labeling it as hd lace like i said i will put a clip in so you could kind of see the difference if you're not sure of what's the difference between hd lace transparent swiss or anything like that so i will insert that um just so you guys can be aware and know the difference so next time i probably won't even order an hd lace because i'm pretty sure they won't send it to me and i didn't reach out to them and let them know like hey you're sending me you sent me wrong lace because they'll probably say oh well the packaging says hd lace it's like yeah it says hd lace but you can put a sticker on anything you get what i'm saying so they did not send me hd lace however they're advertising it as an hd lace wig and it's not however aside from the lace not being hd like they promised the lace does blend well so that's something i can't complain i'll zoom in just so you guys can see what it looks like and it blends pretty pretty well so overall the lace is not bad it's just that it's not what i ordered it's not what i paid for i paid more for hd lace so send me hd lace respectfully so another thing that is a con 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 y'all and this is probably going to be a deal breaker for a lot of people which i can understand but the hair it sheds horribly like horribly um me personally i know with curly hair you're going to get more shedding just because when you go to detangle you have to put in a little bit more work but the hair sheds so badly it gets to the point where sometimes i don't even want to detangle my hair because i know i'm just gonna have a handful of hair um this is just a little bit of the shedding that i got um when i was running my fingers through the hair when i was wetting it i don't know if you guys can see but hold on yeah so i get about that amount of hair every time i run my fingers through the hair which is a bit annoying however i said because the wig is so full you don't necessarily see a drastic change in the hair however if you're one to wear your wigs every day for like weeks at a time i'm pretty sure that shedding is going to catch up to you and my 200 percent density wig we're going to see 150 then we're going to see 100 then it's just going to be the closure left on the wig so um that's happened to me before with a curly wig it started off full and then next thing you know two months later down the line it was starting to show is you know it was showing what it was really given so they, i'm pretty sure if i was to wear this wig on an everyday basis like weeks at a time um the shedding will definitely be more apparent and it'll show up but because i only wear my wigs for like a few days at a time and take them off i don't really see a difference but like i said the shedding is horrible um that's probably one of the things that i hate the most i will probably be more cautious if i was to ever place an order with them again for a different type of wig because luckily because curly hair is already big on its own if i was to order a straight wig and it was shedding like that you probably would see you know how thin the wig is getting quicker but like look shedding no you guys can see but yeah so i just and it's not even me running my fingers through it because I'm just like pretty much raking the hair because it's curly hair. So you can't really run your fingers through curly hair. But yeah, shedding. So yeah, I pretty much get shedding all throughout the day whenever I just run my fingers through the hair or whenever I'm, you know, touching up my hair with water or spraying or whatever I'm doing to my hair. If I run my fingers through my hair, I'm going to get some type of shedding. So that is that. So I can't give them a 10 out of 10. We'll recommend definitely not for that. So that is pretty much it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I did pay for this wig with my own money. Um, anything that you see me giving my opinion on is something that I pay for because I know how that can be sometimes with, you know, people that do hair reviews. You know, they give the good hair to the, you know, the YouTubers and the people that spend their money, they get the, you know, the crap hair. So that's why I don't opt um, to do reviews on anything that I did not pay for or I did not spend my own coin on. So like I said, anything that your girl spent her money on, she's gonna give her opinion on, cause who gonna stop me? Who, who gonna check me? Who gonna check me, boo? <laughs> I have. Anyway. Let me know what other hair companies you want to see me try um, so I can actually give you a thorough review as someone who actually placed an order for the hair. Because like I said, I'm not giving my opinion on anything I did not pay for because I know how that can be. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.